Okay, so some of you guys might be wondering how I screen record on iOS, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So there's a fairly new app on every, uh, it's called EveryCord, but um, the link will be in the description if you want to go to the website. It's just iemulators.com, like in all my videos. But uh, EveryCord will allow you to screen record, and don't, there's a few like pros and there's a few cons but I'll explain to you later in the video and the reason why I jumped over to using every cord is because airshow stopped working it only says like be able to broadcast which I do uh, I do do that I'll leave my link in the description if you want to follow me on Chow. but that's basically what happened so this is why I'm using every cord and I think it's it's pretty decent I don't I wouldn't say it was the best tune quarter out there but it's it's good enough for what you want to start out with. All right, I think it's time to move on and get started into the video. All right, so as you can see, I'm using the screen recorder right now, but link will be in the description again. I will go on the Safari right now. Type in iemulatorslikethis.com, but link will be in the description, so you don't have to do that. But you go on that, then you, oh, sorry, alright, then you have to press go, it'll load up, press on the apps right here, scroll down, you'll see every cord. Also, AirShow works, and if you have Shao, then you can stream on it, but, like, anyways, let's just get into the video. So, you press the every cord button, you press download. Don't press install, but I already have it, so I'm not going to install. It's going to be right here, but it'll. this is why I'm screen recording right now, but it's pretty easy to use. You just have to, like, it just says you have to type in a, a name for your video, then you press, would you like continue, and then yes, and then you just do that. And change the format of it, like, right now it's portrait. You want to go to, uh... You want to go to the settings button in the top left corner of it, and then scroll down, and you'll see it. Uh, yeah, so that's basically how you screen record. And that, hopefully this video sh helped you. And if you want to go to your, if you want to save it to your camera roll, to post it onto YouTube, all you do is have to go to your My Recordings, and then press the, like, hold it, and then... It'll say, like, save to camera roll. Then you just press that, and it'll save to camera roll. Alright, so now, like, this looks fairly working pretty well. So, it all, it's all really good, but if you record too long, it's not, I mean, it's okay if you record too long. It, it allows you to go on limited time, but the only problem with it is that um, every chord, dot, like, uh, it doesn't... Uh, it isn't like, like it says compiling video, like for like ever. If you like make a 14 minute long, they'll say like, probably for like half an hour. And depends on that, it's like double your video time. But it takes a long time, man, to do that. But if you make a short video, like a one minute, I want to take about two, two minutes probably. But that's the, that's the worst part about it. But it's still not too bad. Right now, there's there's going to be better screen recorders as you get on. I'll, I've already made a video on AirShow. It's just the same thing for every uh, software update. So you guys can just watch that. It's like, uh, it'll be in the description too if you guys want to watch that video. But just keep in mind that AirShow can only stream to a certain app called Show. Um, but it can also screen record, but right now it's not working. It can only broadcast. Sometimes it does this, but it usually allows you to record and broadcast. But right now it's just allowing you to broadcast the stream. I mean the show. And then, see show. I got like ten followers, but whatever. No one really cares. Um. Yeah, I'll leave my show name in the description. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And goodbye.